I am Holly Bruff, and I'm the author of The Name I Choose. I was adopted in Honolulu, Hawaii. We lived there for six months, and then we came back to Utah. I used to think I was Hawaiian until I was about 12. I have a, a Hawaiian middle name, Noilani. And so, you know, I, I've got a Hawaiian name, I was born there, I'm Polynesian. Yeah. I got quite the uh, reaction from people and they, oh, are you sure? <laughs> Finally, I asked my parents, aren't I Hawaiian? No, sweetheart, <sighs> fully Caucasian. <laughs> So, <laughs> I started uh, performing and dancing when I was really, really little, mm. four, three and four. I went to Brigham Young University, and my first year I was a cougarette, and um, that was so much fun. And the second semester of my first year, I found ballroom dancing. There is nothing like dancing with a partner where you are one whole. It was awesome. It was so wonderful, so beautiful. I had been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis when I was 19, and I found that I've had to reinvent myself over the years, too. Yeah, it was a year after my mother died in 2016, and I started in about October, and I finished the book in June. Her name is Amalia. She is a young girl. At 15, she sold into servitude to a master named Manuel Tudo. I believe that women do not have to play the victim. We are strong, we are resilient, and we have to find that strength within ourselves. That's who Amalia was. I'm gonna tell you you can't do this. Well, then I'll find another way. <laughs>